Welcome internet. Are you ready to exhaust all your other automotive video options and watch this one? Awesome. I hope you're ready because today we're doing a quick video on the ambulance. We're going to be installing an exhaust hanger onto our brand new piping that we just had installed for the header install. Go check out those videos if you haven't seen them already. I don't know if this will be released before or after that, but if they are out, go check them out. They're amazing. So for this install, it should be pretty simple. We're just going to be using a standard exhaust clamp with the two nuts that go right there and cinch it down. And then we have a rubber exhaust hanger with this riveted metal tab at the bottom and that just slots in right underneath this and then you clamp it all down put your bolt and nut through these guys there you go it's hung extra support there is actually already a hole drilled in one of the frame cross members for a hanger right above one of the pipes where i want to put one so that's perfect all we have to do is just install new hardware and i'll go show you what the problem is right now so we are now underneath the ambulance Go ahead and check out that exhaust piping right there. Brand new, just got a new muffler. All new piping up to the headers and to the engine block. And on the other side, we got new piping as well to the headers. Just beautiful, isn't it? Go ahead, take like an hour or two, just pause the video, admire that. I'll wait. Perfect. Now, the problem we've been having since the install is this driver side exhaust pipe going from the header all the way out to the exhaust and sometimes especially at idle it gets a little wiggly kind of around in the middle area because we actually don't have any supports between the headers and past that muffler right there and that's a good like five six seven feet of pipe that's just kind of being supported by the engine block and back there so we're gonna be putting a nether exhaust hanger up right up here there's already a pre-drilled hole there's actually several pre-drilled holes I don't know what those are from but there's one directly above this pipe right here so we're gonna go put an exhaust hanger on that pipe and that'll just give us more stability support so this thing doesn't fall off while you're driving down the road so quick overview of the game plan take this standard exhaust clamp we're gonna put it over the pipe like so it takes this exhaust hanger and you just kind of fit it between there and there like that and then you bolt it up to the frame and there you go we're pretty much done At this point, it's important to make sure that you have the exhaust hanger tab in between the clamp and the pipe, otherwise that defeats the whole purpose of this. Okay, everything's loosely assembled. Now in my case, these nuts right here are 14 millimeter and I'm using a deep well socket. And then up above, the nut and bolt are both half inch. Okay, and last part is I'm moving on to the nut and the bolt. On the rubber piece, I'm using both a half inch wrench and socket. There we go, that should arrest a lot of the 
vibration and movement on this pipe and it should be a lot better for us coming in the future. Don't want to tighten this down too much or else you might rip through the rubber. I think I may have already tightened it a little bit too much. We'll see. These are really cheap. They're about $1.76 on Amazon, so not too bad. If this one does break, I think it should be fine. I'll do some road tests, maybe report back if there's any issues, but that should do it for today. This is Bread to Loaf signing off.